Let us now discuss on how to find the area of the shaded region under the normal curve. And the shaded region is of three cases. Let's have the first case. Case number one, left of any Z value or less than probability. It says here that if the region is to the left of Z score, then the area is the value itself from the Z table. Let's have an example. Say, the probability of Z which is less than 1.2. Here, our given z-score is only in a two-digit number. So, we're just going to look this two-digit number in the first column. Okay, so we have 1.2. So, we're just going to look for the area beside this number. We have 0.88. 493. Therefore, the area corresponds to the Z score which is less than 1.2 is 0 0.88493. Let's have another example. Find the probability of Z which is less than negative 0 0.62. So our given Z score is in a three-digit number. So, we're going to first look for the first two digit in the first column. We have negative 0 0.6. Then, find the third digit number in the first row. We have 0 0.02. Then, find the intersection of these two numbers. We have 0.26763 therefore the probability of z which is less than negative 0 0.62 or the area of the z score which is less than negative 0 0.62 is 0 0.26763 let's have case number two Write of any Z value or greater than probability. It says here that if the region is to the right of Z score, then subtract the Z table value from 1 to get the area. Let's have an example. Given P of Z, which is greater than 1.85, so, doing the steps, we have to find the first two-digit number in the first column, which is 1.8. Then, find the third-digit number in the first row, which is 0 0.05. Then, the intersection is 0 0.96784. So, we have the area of... 0 0.96784 then subtract this area from 1 which is also equivalent to 1.0000 so subtract our area which is 0 0.96784 from 1 we have 0 0.03216 therefore the probability of our z-score which is greater than 1.85 is 0 0.03216 or shall we say our area of the z which is greater than 1.85 is 0 0.03216 let's have another example say the probability of Z, which is greater than negative 0 0.97. So, let us first look for the first two-digit number in our first column. So, negative 0 0.9. Then, find 
the third digit number in our first row. We have 0 0.07. Then find their intersection. We have 0 0.16602. Therefore, our area is 0 0.16602. Then subtract this area from 1. We have 0 0.83398. Therefore, the area of our z score, which is greater than negative 0 0.97, is 0 0.83398. Let's have case number 3 between any two z values or between probabilities. It says here that. If the region is between any two z-scores, subtract the z-table value of the leftmost z-score from the z-table value of the rightmost z-score. Meaning, we're going to subtract the lesser value from the greater value. Let's have an example. Given the probability of Z, which is greater than 0 0.25, but less than 1.69. So here, we're going to look first for the area of Z-score, which is 0 0.25, then followed by the area of Z-score, which is 1.69. So the area of Z-score, which is 0 0.25, in our z table is 0 0.59871 and the area of 1.69 is 0 0.95449 so we're just going to subtract the lesser value which is 0 0.59871 from the greater value which is 0 0.95449 the difference is 0 0.35578. Therefore, the area of the z-score, which is greater than 0 0.25 but less than 1.69, is 0 0.35578. Let's have another example. Say the probability of z, which is greater than negative 1.81, but less than negative 0 0.18 so the area of negative 1.81 in our z table is 0 0.3515 and the area of negative 0 0.18 is 0 0.42858 Subtract the lesser value, which is 0 0.03515, from the greater value, which is 0 0.42858. The difference is 0 0.39343. Therefore, the area of z-score, which is greater than negative 1.81, but less than negative 0 0.18, is 0 0.393. Let's have some sample problems. Let's start with case number one. The household's daily expenses have a normal distribution with a mean of 850 pesos and a standard deviation of 40 pesos. What is the probability that a randomly selected household spends 920 pesos or less so first let us get the z score by applying the formula z is equal to x minus u divided by sigma so in the given problem our x is 920 our mean is 850 and our standard deviation is 40 so by applying the formula, we have 920 minus 850 is 70 divided by 40 is 
1.75. So we have a z-score of 1.75. Then find the area of this z-score in our z table. So we have 0 0.95994 or this is equivalent to 95.99%. Therefore, there is a 95.99% chance of selecting a household spending 920 pesos or less. Case number 2. The household's daily expenses have a normal distribution with a mean of 850 pesos and a standard deviation of 40 pesos. What is the probability that a randomly selected household spends 900 pesos or more? So let's have first the Z score by applying the formula Z is equal to X minus U divided by Sigma. So we have X which is 900, U which is 850 and Sigma which is 40. Applying the formula, we have 900 minus 850 is 50. 50 divided by 40 is 1.25. Find the area of this z-score in our z-table. We have 0 0.89435. Then, subtract this area from 1. We have... 0 0.10565 or 10.57%. Therefore, there is a 10.57% chance of selecting a household spending 900 pesos or more. Let's have case number 3 between any two Z values or between probabilities. The household's daily expenses have a normal distribution with a mean of 850 pesos and a standard deviation of 40 pesos. What is the probability that a randomly selected household spends between 860 pesos and 940 pesos? So here, we're going to get first the z-score of 860 followed by the z-score of 940 so let us get first the z-score of 860 we have 860 minus 850 is 10 10 divided by 40 is 0 0.25 therefore c sub 1 is 0 0.25 then get the z-score of 940 or our z sub 2. Applying the formula, we have 940 minus 850 divided by 40. So 940 minus 850 is 90. 90 divided by 40 is 2.25. Therefore, z sub 2 is 2.25. Then get the area of Z sub 1 and Z sub 2. Let's have the area of 0 0.25. We have 0 0.59871. How about the area of 2.25? We have 0 0.98778. Then we're going to subtract 0 0.59871 from 0 0.98778. We have 0 0.98778 minus 0 0.59871. The difference is 0 0.38907 or 38.91%. So, the probability of Z, which is greater than 0 0.25 but less than 2.25 is 
38.91%. Therefore, there is a 38.91% chance of selecting a household spending between 860 pesos and 940 pesos.